we're going to be looking at the work of Anthony Brown. He's a Liverpudlian artist, so he paints a lot of Beatles portraits, and he uses a collage technique. So he builds up his background with magazines, newspapers, and then he paints the portrait over the top. So we're going to have a go at creating our own version of this using our smaller scale paper. So step one is to collage your background. So perhaps use a mixture of book pages, newspaper, magazines. Uh, if your collage goes over the edge, you can always trim it afterwards. In my demonstration here, you can see I made sure that everything fit inside the square. If yours goes over the edge, it's not a problem. Just make sure you've trimmed it before you start your next step, which is to trace your famous person from your iPad. So I chose Marilyn Monroe. I did the tracing technique that we've done before. I then covered the back of my paper in black oil pastel. You need to do a thick layer, okay? A thin layer won't work. So a thick layer of black oil pastel on the back. And then you go over your pencil detail with a ballpoint pen or a biro pen. You've got to press quite hard because what will happen is you'll receive an imprint on the back of the paper. So if you think you're done, flick it over to check and you might want to go back and add a few extra details. This is my inspiration for my painting. So it's a vibrant portrait with colors that aren't natural. So greens and blues, uh, not necessarily anything you would normally find on a realistic portrait. So I've based my painting on these vibrant colors. I'm recreating it as best I can painting over the top of my collage background uh, in watercolour paint. You can see I'm using my lid to mix my colours. I'm looking at my source material while I do this to get an accurate representation of those vibrant colours. And my final step is going to be to have it in my exploding book. <laughs> 